Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to easily create curves with the shrink wrap effect on a collection of objects. You can use it for decorations on Christmas trees, cakes, fixed cables or whatever you want. So let's get started. I'm working in Blender version 3.4.1 and the concept is you have a simple mesh so I can easily create a cone for example. I create a simple subdivision surface two times for a better result i select uh, this mesh tab i select uh, this vertex ctrl b go to the bevel configuration press vertex and then press ctrl r to see this loop cut scroll up the mouse click one time and another time to fix the new vertices press tab to exit from this mesh and imagine that you have a mesh like this on which we can create a simple display modifier click new to create a texture go here to the texture in configuration select from this menu clouds increase a little bit the size select it right button shade smooth and this is a simple example of a mesh on which we want to shrink wrap our curve so if you add a simple curve it's hard to dynamically move the points of the curve on these surfaces so we want an automatic way to do this and I can start to create a new curve like this I can scale it I need a few points not uh, hundreds uh, of points so I create this little example press A to select the all vertices right button subdivide right button subdivide go to the top view select one vertex G to move one here one here okay rotate some vertices press one I want to manipulate a little bit the height of this curve we have a curve like this and we want to adapt the position of this curve that we will use uh, with the profile curve on this surface press tab to exit from the edit mode and first of all we need to select the curve go here in the curve properties and increase this resolution so 64 for example to have a better resolution of the original curve and you can see we have one two three four five control points now tab go to plus general geometry nodes press new to create a new geometry nodes modifier and first of all we need to convert these to set the cycle for this curve because in the case where we have a cyclic curve the result is a bit weird on the segment that links the last index to the first if i enter in this curve a moment and if i add with the shift a a new circle press g z move a little bit down scale a little bit now we have two curves and you can see the not cyclic operation here save the project now we need to resample the curve to have a custom resolution so for example 18 points we need to set the spline type not to poly but busier and add the handles to these curves so we need to use the set handle type and for left and right we want to use the auto feature the auto type enable the snap tool here i can select all these nodes ctrl j f2 prepare curves now we want to set the position of these control points on this surface in an automatic way so the purpose is adapt the position of these original control points on a surface even if i change the original position of these control points or the mesh itself and to do this we need a perfect node so the proximity node that we can add here and also we need to have a collection info node with relative set we can export the collection of objects on which we want to adapt these control points and to do this I go here right button new collection of objects I drag the cone inside this objects collection select the collection of objects it's a in the geometry nodes modifier here we are so now because i have here an instance output of geometry we need to realize the geometry to get the correct position 
and normal and some information of all the points of this mesh so I need to realize instance here and for the first step I need to link this geometry here and get the nearest position from this mesh to set the control points of our curves so I need to link the position of this uh, output to the position of this set position and you can see this effect here it's a good start but we want more we want to offset the position of these curves a little bit because we need to use a profile to transform these curves in a mesh so imagine that you want to use in the group input two new attributes we can call base radius that is a float number from zero and another attribute that we can call wire radius from zero in this tutorial i will create a simple profile curve with three simple circles as wires instantiated on a curve with a low resolution okay so three vertices and in this case we want to offset the position of these control points from this surface by what by the radius of the base of this curve profile adding the radius of the single wire so this distance plus this distance so the two radius here so before adding an offset we need to know correct normal direction to make the offsetting so to do this we can use the same geometry proximity output position from this node to get this sample nearest point on the surface and for that we need to link this geometry here and from this sample position because this is the position that we set here for shift the control points of our curves we need the vector of the normal so in this case is perfect because we have the exact normal of the contact of each point on this surface and now we, that we have this normal we want to scale this vector by the adding mathematical operation between the base radius and the wire radius I can collapse these and link these to the scale of the scale vector press H and now I can link these to the offset to see the result we need to increase the base and the wire okay and you can see the correct offsetting of our curves on the shape we can simplify the workflow like this select all these nodes ctrl j f2 shrink wrap effect then we want to transform the curves in a real mesh so we need to add a curve circle another curve circle for the wire so the first is for the base of the profile curve and we can set here the resolution of three or whatever you want use the instance on point to instantiate on this curve what the second curve and if we press shift control and click we can see the result here I can use the group input to link the base radius and the wire radius here press shift Shift Z to see the result in this origin of the coordinate system and now that we have the profile we can transform the curve to mesh here linking this output field caps and you can notice these here instances in input geometry are ignored so we need to create a realized instance here before the curve to mesh otherwise we can't create a profile H press shift control and click and now we have the correct result in a mesh shift as it decrease a little bit the base of the radius and the base of the wire we can set the 0.02 and 0.018 for example to have a correct result here we can select all these nodes ctrl j f2 profile curve and in between this operation we can add a simple tilting values so we can set the tilt of this curve before making the profile curve so we can use the group input another time add a new attribute tilting from zero here and we can't use the tilting attribute directly here because it would apply this tilting for all the control points at the same time we want to distribute the tilting along the factor of these curves so to do this we need to add a spline parameter where we have the factor so a number from zero to one for each curves and we 
we can multiply this value by the tilting attribute and link this result here in the tilt attribute and now if i increase the tilting you can see a correct effect of the this tilting result we can select all these nodes ctrl j f2 tilting we can see the material preview and set a material to our wires so we can add here a new material wires set the material select here wires and this is our wires select the surface create a new material rocks crease the big k and what is the advantages that we can have from this layout and what is the the feature of these methods the advantages of this method is that you can enter in edit mode of your curves and modify the position of your curves always getting the correct position on the surface of your curves so you can see i can manipulate the curves as i want in the space without worries at all you can also modify the mesh of your collections so if i go here in the display modifier and decrease the strength of this modifier you can see the adapting effect of the curve on this mesh and if you increase this uh, strength uh, you can see the changes and for a cake for example if i create a cylinder press s z i can create this k g y to move it a little bit along this axis here i can extend the creation of these curves so i can enter in the tab press a create a circle move g y okay s to go over the entire mesh bounding box so i suggest you to to do this operation and you can see this effect so if i increase or decrease the scale of my cake the curves changes the position of their control points for this case of the cake you can see the non-cyclic curve here so if you need you can go in the geometry nodes and mute this node or click cyclic so keep in mind that this can give you this bad result here because blender needs to turn back with the tilting operation interpolating it from the last index to the first and this is what you don't want so i can suggest you to leave this cyclic off select the curves press tab and to fix th this problem because we have the handle of this original curve you can easily select the last control point of your curve rotate on the z-axis by 90 degrees and move it here near the first index and to have a better result press ctrl shift and tab and make sure to select the vertex here for the snapping tool press g and and hold the control to get the correct position of the first control point here and because we have the handle you can see the original curve has a shape like this and goes around the cake so for this reason i have a correct curve around this cake and if i press another time as to scale down the cake you can see the adaptive uh, changing of the position of the control points uh, to the nearest uh, mesh and this is the tutorial thank you guys for watching this little tutorial i hope you like it as always if you like what i'm doing please uh, subscribe to my channel and check the bell icon to get the notification of all new posted videos see you to the next tutorial bye